What up, what up, what up, what up? Today we are gonna talk about how to get massive leverage on your goals. What is up my fellow goal getter? My name is Zach and welcome back to another video. And if this is your first time here and you want the best tips on how to become a goal getter, make sure you subscribe because we are getting started right now. Have you ever had the feeling where you knew that you should be doing something but you didn't do it, you were procrastinating, probably because the fear of the unknown was just too painful to, uh, and, and to, to take on? Uh, I know I sure have. I had this with, with um, when I first got out of prison, all right, and I couldn't find the job and all that good stuff, you know, and then I got into network marketing for two years and I had some early on success with that, being able to create almost a $2,000 a month income to be able to provide for my family, you know, that was a security net for me. However, network marketing just wasn't my thing. It wasn't my calling in life. And I knew that I needed to be doing something else because I lost my passion for it. I was just, it became something that I dreaded doing. Not because it's a horrible industry or nothing like that, it's just it wasn't me. And I, I, it took me a while to actually pull that trigger finally because I had the fear of the unknown. I had my security blanket, I had the thing to feed my family, you know? So it took me a minute to, to, to pull that trigger because I was afraid of doing so. So we're about to get into a step-by-step -step process on how to link pain and pleasure appropriately. However, if this is your first time here and or if you haven't downloaded my free Go Getter Cheat Sheet yet, I highly encourage you to do so right now because this is my step-by-step -step process to rise up, break free, and dominate life. It's that good and you can do so right here. So first off, we have to link massive pain to, to continue doing the same thing and we have to link massive pleasure to the thought of making that change right now. Um, and it has to be instantly. Um, change is not a question of capability. Change is a question of motivation. Are you motivated to make that change right now? If if, so, if you were in a bad mood, you know, and, and somebody said be happy and you're like, I can't, I'm just in a bad mood, whatever. But if you were in the same exact situation and that same person pointed a gun to your head and said, you better be happy right now, I'm gonna blow your brains out. You're gonna, you're gonna be motivated to find a way to be happy right then and there because you're gonna link pain and pleasure appropriately. You're not gonna wanna die, obviously, and you're gonna be able to make that change. The same thing we have to do with our goals. We have to link so much pain to the old behavior and to the old and link so much pleasure to the thought of the new of making that change right now. Now that all sounds fine and dandy, and we can tell ourselves this, but until we actually do it, it's another case. And a lot of times we have to hit that pain threshold, is what I like to call it. A lot of people call it rock bottom. Uh, a lot of people, whatever you want to call it, sometimes we come up, there comes a point where it becomes a must, and it can't, it's not no longer I should or I want to, it becomes no, I must do this. And sometimes we gotta hit that pain threshold. And there's ways to get yourself there mentally without having to put yourself physically through all this pain. For me, I finally made a change in my life. I hit my pain threshold. I hit my rock bottom moment when I landed back in prison. I woke up from an alcohol-induced blackout to learn that I was heading back to prison for eight months, 20 days before my twin sons were born. That. That was my pain threshold. I was getting ready to miss my children being born. I couldn't, I couldn't live like that anymore. You know, it wasn't about me anymore at this point. It was about my family. And it was about the legacy that I wanted to leave behind. I didn't want my sons to grow up and be like, my dad was just, you know, in and out of my life my whole life. He was never really there. He never stood on anything. I don't want that to be said about me. I don't want to be remembered like that in my family. So that was it for me. What is it for you? You know, what say? Are you are you dealing with trying to quit smoking? Think about, think about, futuristically think, imagine what's going to happen if you continue to smoke. Uh, are your children? Are you going to miss out on your grandchildren because you're smoking and killing yourself every day? Think about that. You know, l let that sink in for a minute. You are literally killing yourself every time you smoke. And I always talk about this because I dealt with smoking for 20 years and was finally able to stop. 
after after doing what I'm teaching you right here right now. So think about these things. Associate that pain and pleasure, and get 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 that leverage and and hit that pain threshold. The sooner, the better. The best leverage that you can get doesn't come from external, from people making you feel bad. It comes from within. When when you know that you're not living up to the standards that you hold for yourself, that internal motivation is greater than any external motivation could ever be. So so ask yourself these questions. Am, am I living up to my own standards? Am I, am I living my life to the best of my capabilities or am I just half-stepping it? Ask yourself these questions are powerful. So speaking of questions, questions are the answer. Remember I told you that questions are the answers in life. Whenever you're asked a question, our brain is, is engineered to answer it. Wouldn't you agree? Aha, you see what I did there? It, like, if I ask you a question, don't you feel a need to answer it? Yeah, of course you do. If, so ask yourself pain-inducing questions and pleasure-inducing questions. Ask yourself, what will this cost me if I continue to qu keep smoking? Uh, what, what will happen if I decide to stop smoking? You know, and, and you're going to answer these questions and it's going to help get that leverage, that internal leverage on yourself of the pain inducing questions. You're going to think about not being there for your grand, grandchildren's birth or, or not being able to play with your kids because you're getting winded two minutes into playing with them. You know, and to, to get additional leverage, think about how this is going to affect your loved ones. You know, how are they going to feel that you're not going to be around for their children? because you're smoking or think about how they would feel because all their friends dads were playing sports with them but you weren't because you couldn't keep up because you were too busy smoking Newports and Marlboros. The key is to get enough reasons or, or better yet strong enough reasons to making that change right now instead of someday down the road making that change right now. If you're not motivated to make the change right now then you don't have strong enough reasons to do it. That's the only reason why. If you enjoyed this video and you like to watch more videos on how to help you make these transformations in your life, lasting transformations in your life, make sure you check out this playlist right there. Uh, and if you know anybody that could benefit from this message, please share it with them. You never know what the right message for the right person at the right time could do. I appreciate you greatly, my friend. Goal getters, keep on crushing it. Keep on rising up, breaking free, and dominating life. And I will see you next time, my friend.